Hello friends, this is Jalpesh here and welcome again to my channel Code with JV. In this video, we are going to talk about the create new project dialog in Visual Studio 2022. So we are going to see what are the new features and how we can create a new project with Visual Studio 2022. So let's get started. Like so once you run this uh, Visual Studio, it will open this particular dialog. So from here, you can like maximize that and minimize that earlier it was not possible with the Visual Studio versions. Just like the Visual Studio 2019, uh, they have given uh, the four options there. So either you can open a local folder from where you can open the folder in the Visual Studio and then you can create a solution if it is not there or you can um, have a existing solution. Then uh, if you have any existing project available with the project or solution, then you can open this via this particular option. Then there is another thing of uh, uh, clone a repository. So basically here uh, you can clone any repository with the git. Uh, so whether it's a bitbucket or github or azure devops whatever git kind of git repository is there you can clone it and I think now Visual Studio 2020 and github integration is very nice so they, I think from the github repository they directly provide options to op open in Visual Studio 2022 and then they will ask you about the your credentials and that's it you can directly open it you don't need to clone or copy all these steps there then uh, there is one another uh, option there create new project and that is the main project template uh, where you are going to create the new projects so we are going to see that particular create new project in the detail and there is another option called continue without code so sometimes uh, you don't need to open anything and you just need to go to Visual Studio itself like you want to change some themes or anything uh, at that particular time this particular option is uh, required so you don't need to open anything but you just need to change few settings in the Visual Studio uh, 2022 then you can use this particular option so now once you click on the create new project uh, it will load uh, the recent uh, project template on the left side and uh, then here it will load uh, all this uh, lots of uh, uh, basic templates of application whether it's a console app you can see there is a console app there uh, there is a sp.net core web app there there is a blazor there is a class library project there is a azure function project there is a sp.net core empty tablet so lots of templates there and from here you can search like for example if i want to only open the templates from c sharp so here you can see like it has got that particular filter with the c -sharp. Now you won't get any C++ things. Then here from here uh, you can also define the platforms. For example, if I wanted to create a Windows application, right? So at that time, whatever uh, platform you choose, it will create like it will filter the all the applications type with that particular platform itself. And here we have all the project types. Here you can see like if you want to create a cloud application, then like it will only filter. Uh, uh, the project type with the cloud right and if you only want mobile application here you can see like i have xamarin form installed so at that time it will create a xamarin form same way if you want only web and it will only load the template for web uh, so here you don't see console application and uh, other stuff with the web so like it's now pretty easy to uh, create a new project and from here you can uh, click clear that thing also you can search from here for example if i want to create a web api app and that's uh, is selected now here you can see like there is a f sharp and c sharp both are there right so from here you can select the language and it will further filter it with the c sharp now if i click on that so we are going to create a sp.net web api application so let's get started so here it will create uh, uh, the project name by default it will give like a sp uh, web application and from here you can select the uh, location and this particular one tells the solution name so that is also there and here there is a checkbox to create a uh, place a solution and project into the same direction so if you don't check this project uh, like 
with this particular checkbox then like solution and project will not be here in the same particular direction so now let's create our first api project okay so i am going to click next so here it will show all the particular .NET uh, framework versions there available so here you can see in this particular uh, i have two options there .NET 5 and .NET 6.0 so .NET 6.0 is a long term support and uh, this is the new thing uh, again there uh, with the .NET 6 so here in the project dialog you can see like it is providing the uh, authentication type like whether you are going to have no authentication with the none or microsoft identity platform or windows so we are going to select none then here there are a couple of other options uh, this is for particularly for HTTPS application so if you select this particular uh, thing uh, it will ask for HTTPS only and then once you click on uh, create uh, it will like your whenever your application will start it will redirect back to HTTPS HTTPS. then there is a do docker functionality available there so if you enable the docker it will create a docker configuration file and you don't need to change anything then um, it will also allow you to select the docker os so whether you are on linux or windows it will run on both, both part but we are not going to enable docker right now uh, then uh, this is a web api project so here we are going to see the minimal api stuff uh, earlier we used to have a controller for the web api if we don't want to create uh, the controller for web api then i can uncheck that and it will use the new feature of dotnet 6 which is a minimal api so and this is for like creating a swagger documentation uh, which is a uh, open api support so if i remove that it won't create the swagger file but in this particular demo we need it so i'm going to enable the open api support and and then I am going to create this. So it will take some time to create and scrap for that particular template. So now it's creating and loading the Visual Studio. So here you can see now we have enabled the web API. So it's only going to create uh, the programs.cs file. So here you can see like this is the web API and it will run this particular web API. It will load the Swagger one. So it's building right now. So first it is installing the NuGet packages and then it's going to run that particular project. So you can see now build is succeeded and we are going to launch project into the web browser. So here you can see like it has logged uh, launch a into the web browser and here you can see your APIs and if you execute this it's going to create this okay so that is the one way of doing this uh, now let me create another project into same also so from here I can also create a new project so let's add a new project there and this time I am going to create a M MBC model view controller project. Okay, so same options there. Uh, that is called let's name it plus app. Okay, so here you can see like there are two options now available. Uh, either you can create the new object or new solution, and uh, th there is another option called add to solution so here i am going to create add to solution then again like uh, just like the asp.net web api there are options particularly specific to the framework which version we are going to choose and again there is some authentication type there so this is a web api uh, no this is a web application uh, there so there are few more options available like none then there is an individual account uh, there is a microsoft entity platform uh, which we are going to cover in forthcoming video and uh, there is a windows authentication and like if you enable the docker os 
it's going to create the docker and we are not going to configure it for https right so if you, if you click on that now it's going to create a project and add it to this particular solution itself right so if you click on this you can see like home controller is there same way like you can create a uh, multiple projects uh, either you can also create a new project from here also now let's create a console app and see what are the options uh, so this is the console app so first console and here also we are getting options for framework and then we are going to create it so here you can see like it is creating the console app there so the idea behind this particular video was to show you the some of the options available here in Visual Studio 2022 to create a new project so that is the thing there i hope you like this video and if you like this particular video please do subscribe to my channel that is code with jerry and hope to see you in the next video thank you for watching